Hi, Mark here. I trust you're well. You join me sunrise on one of my photography events. And if you'd like to come and join me, just visit msp.im forward slash events and you'll see my next upcoming event. Now, as some of you may know, I've owned now the Nikon ZF for about three weeks. This is late March 2025. And I waited some time um, because I didn't need it as a tool to capture images. I, I have most of the Z mount cameras. Um, it was about the experience for me, the enjoyment of photography, which is why I purchased this, uh, falling back in love with photography. Well, some of you that know me know that I'm an academic and I conduct research. And in that primary research, GPS is really important to me. The accurate time and location that I take the photograph to an extent that I've gone off and I've bought a Garmin InReach Mini 2, loads of videos about that on this playlist, which tracks me every second that it's switched on and records it so I have a activity log for every second. And the battery lasts days. So, does the Nikon ZF support GPS? Well, unlike the Z6 III, which is the most recent camera that's out, which does support GPS, I can't find it. First thing I can't find is either the Nikon 10 pin cable is not on the front like the Z9 and the Z8, um, and nor is the, the smaller, um, socket the CA90 which goes in the six to seven um, so I haven't yet worked out a way in camera to record the GPS so if you have a ZF and GPS is really important to you may I recommend three alternatives to uh, capturing your GPS the first one and get a GPS, a tracker, a recorder. So that could be a Garmin InReach Mini 2. They're around about $250 pounds. You may have to take out a subscription if you want to use the SOS services and text people when there's no cellular coverage. The cheaper alternative is to get an app like Geotag Photo 2. It's around about $12, something like that. I bought mine years ago. It's a one-off purchase in your app store and you can record your frequency, your activity by time. So as you go for a walk every 20 minutes, every two minutes, every 30 seconds, or constantly, it can record your activity, your route where you're going and save it to your phone. The downside of doing it with an app is it's constantly tracking you, so constantly using your battery. And this is why I moved away from a beautiful app. It does exactly what it wants on the, or says on the tin, um, but it drained my battery on my iPhone 12 Pro Max at the time. I only got about four hours out of it where I need it for days. So I stopped using the app Although I still have it, I still recommend it if you're going for a walk and just want a five minute uh, ping, a five minute receiving of where you are. It's a brilliant app. The other way that I recommend uh, um, is just take a picture with your phone. So you're here, you go and click, take your phone out of your pocket and just go click there. Most modern smartphones have GPS on their photos. And then when you're in your tracking software, your digital asset management software, you can just sync the two locations. So I'm sorry to say the ZF currently, bear in mind I've only had it for three weeks, I cannot find a way of 
capturing GPS, that's longitude, latitude and altitude, and syncing your clock via the GPS satellite to the time in the camera, I can't find a way of doing it in camera. So the GP1s do not work with it. But I'll keep you updated. If I find a way, I'll share it. I hope that's helped you today. And there'll be a lot more tips as I get more and more used to this ZF. There'll be a lot more tips. And if you haven't seen the video that why I bought the Nikon ZF, that will be somewhere around here. Bye for now. And happy photography. <laughs>